It's time for Food Adventure Program for Awesome People, the Soup Dumpling Edition. So we're going to a secret location. Did you like my secret pose? You didn't Whoa. do one. You didn't do a secret well, because pose. because you didn't tell me about it. That's why it was secret. Everyone knows that you do a secret pose. Okay, ready? Okay. We are going for secret dumplings today. And the reason why they're so secretive is because they're not actually Korean mandu. I know we had these in Singapore. They're soup dumplings and the dumplings that you bite into and the soup kind of is pours in out. them. We love mandu here in Korea as well. A lot of it is very similar. Sometimes you want something different. Yeah. We heard about this place. We're going to go here and show you some different kind of dumplings. So let us know. Is it Chinese or Taiwanese or where is this dumpling from? Do not get a fight in the comment section while we eat delicious menu. Quickly before it's gonna come out! In case you couldn't tell, this place is totally bumping. Menu. It's actually very simple. So what we ordered today was we had two of the Shaolong Bao, which is the soup dumplings that we had when we were in Singapore. We got the Seiyu ones as well, which is just a shrimp version. And then this one here, which I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure it's beef because there's like this flour beef in Korean. It's 16 bucks. So what? I'm guessing that's like amazing super gourmet, which one day we will try. And then we go into different kinds of noodles, which I have no idea what kind of noodles these are because I've never ordered them before. And then the Mapo Dubu, which I find interesting. It's so popular in Chinese restaurants and it's just kind of like a ground up beef and like a sauce mixed up with tofu. Either way, we're here for these two bad boys. Shaolong Bao Duge, I will say you Hana. Now this is one of the greatest complaints we have living in Korea. We're always confused as to why we can't get Chinese food in Korea. Right. You know, we did we're that. We're so close. We're like physically connected to China. Well, North Korea is in the way. But I mean, like no. we're close enough that there should be some legitimate Chinese food, mm. but you actually cannot seem to find it. Like even though we have the Chechengmyeon video that we did before, where we right. talked about like Korean Chinese food, a lot of our friends that are, are from China, like Taiwanese friends yeah. or from Hong Kong or whatever, they're like, that's not Chinese, Chinese food. food. So today we have going to this secret location. Is it secret? It's on a main street, well, kind it's, of. It's, it's not a big, flashy franchise. You gotta know this place in order to come here. Mm -hmm. Lee, how did we find this place? Well, when I was studying at Iwo Women's University, mm -hmm. I had a lot of friends that were Taiwanese, and they introduced me to this place because they said it was the bomb diggity. Now, how did they know this? How do they know this? Is there like the eat your kimchi know. version for people who are coming from different countries? Like, can we like give insider information about where good Canadian food is? Um, Canadians have their own food. Oh. Lee, can you put a picture of your face up and cover it in poop? <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now. Ooh, time for some sexy food pulling shots. best soup dumpling I've ever had? No, it is not. But when you're in Korea mm -hmm. and you want something different, you don't necessarily want to have like the Korean style mandu. Mm -hmm. This is definitely something I would recommend trying. Oh, yeah. It's got the gingery taste to it. Mm -hmm. It's using a different kind of pork. I have a few small complaints that I would pick out as a picky picky person. Mm -hmm. So for example, there are some holes in the dough here, which means that I picked up one of my dumpling, soup dumplings and it kind of just poured out everywhere mm -hmm. and it should be completely sealed up. They're supposed mm -hmm. to be like 16 tiny delicate right. folds, but that's when you go to like a master restaurant mm -hmm. or something. This place isn't perfect, but it does actually give us something that we were A flavor that we're craving? You know? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would definitely come back again and order something again, but I wouldn't want people to come here and say something like, oh, you know, this isn't the best I've ever had, or this isn't this and that. Like, it's not the it's best not in the like world, that. but it's still good if you've been yeah. eating a lot of regular Korean mandu. Yeah. Do you think that Korean mandu, every place might be like a little bit different, might have a little bit of a twist to it, but majority mm -hmm. of mandu shops in Korea, it's pretty much the same. Pork and onion. Yeah, you can find a couple of rare exceptions, like I mm -hmm. like the mapo mandu. Mm -hmm. That one has like a, a beef one that's very different, but the majority of places, it's kind of the same. So this is a really nice change. Question Lee, would yes. you like one of these mandu? I would. Skill testing question time. Name two members of EXO. Chris and Ty. Holy sh**, you wow. actually got that very quickly. Ding, ding, ding. How did you know that? Oh. I was prepared to give you hints they like like what's body odor and then cut the B in half and you got I like a... I don't know any other members <laughs> besides Chris and Kato. <laughs> well done, Lee. You have earned yourself a soup dumpling. 
Brum, 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 brum. challenge was it? Not something you should feed someone, apparently. As Lee is that a sexy romantic sweet, sweet, sweet juices all over her face. Lee. Lee. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Okay, so that wasn't the best dumpling we've ever had in our lives. We didn't want to explain too much on camera in case he understood us and then it would be embarrassing to him, but the dough is really doughy. Yeah. He didn't make an effort to twist it completely shut. A lot shut. of the juice like, fell out of it, but... The pork wasn't very tender. He should no. have massaged it more in the bowl to kind of tenderize it. It was kind of like eating a, a rock pork. Whatever, the flavor is yummy. I will come back through sheer desperation for soup dumpling locations. It had the taste that we were hankry for. It's not a perfect dumpling, but if you want something different, then this is yummy. If you guys live in Korea and you know of any other location that's super good, let us know and then we'll- Super We'll do the good. super redemption soup dumpling edition.